Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a bonus love reading for the first half of October 2021. We're going to be looking at what can you expect in love, what's currently going to be happening for you in love, and then what can you expect in the near future, so where is all headed. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Take what resonates for you, check out your other placements for more messages, your moon, your rising sign. I'll have all of the signs linked in the description box. I have a playlist for each sign, so you can check those out. And let's jump right in for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, spirits, angels, guide. Messages, guidance, please, for Sagittarius. What can Sagittarius expect in love the first half of October? 2021. What can Sagittarius expect? First half of October. So I'm going to get um, two, um, not two, three cards for what you can expect and what's going on for you in love, and then three cards for the future. Okay, so what's currently going on or what will be going on in your connection or in love? Six of Cups, nice. King of Swords. Wow, the Empress. All right. And what you can expect next or in the future. Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Hangman reversed. Wow, Ace of Swords reversed. So I don't think it's going to be very easy. But someone is becoming unstuck, it seems like, with the Hangman reverse. Overall energy, Three of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. So something's not really working out. Someone's not really working well with another person. Um, maybe uh, effort is not being put into something or someone's unwilling or unable to put an effort into something. Let's see what this is all about. I guess some insight for you for Sagittarius regarding love. What do we need to know? Let's start with the Three of Pentacles reverse because this is the overall energy. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? Three of Cups. Okay, so right away, even though I don't want to, I'm thinking about a third person. Okay, what else can you tell me about this Three of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Wands. Yeah, something's definitely not working out here. Ace of Pentacles. This could be um, financial. Knight of Cups, the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. Cancer Energy, with the Chariot. So I feel like this is... um. The Ten of Wands came out with this Knight of Cups. So like the ten, when I pull the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this has probably been very difficult for someone. The fact that they're in this situation because there's love here or emotions are tied up here. So there could be just, a, you know, some sort of situation that feels very frustrating for someone because things are not working out how they could be working out. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? What, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Three of Wands. Yeah, there's a waiting period or things are not happening quickly enough. There's probably some something to do with timing here. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So I don't think that this Ace of Pentacles is happening is basically what I'm getting at. It's like in the works or there's frustration. Excuse me, there's frustration because it's not happening. <clears throat> so let's see, we have the Six of Cups, King of Swords and the Empress. Well, with the Six of Cups, King of Swords, I'm almost getting like someone offering this cup uh, to an Empress like energy. You know, very sweet, kind gesture from the past or from a soulmate type energy. So let's see. Tell me about the Six of Cups. 
Why is the Six of Cups here? Wow, the lovers. Definitely soulmate energy. Gemini. Um, and there's the Knight of Cups again. Yeah, so this is an offer from a soulmate or, you know, there's a strong connection here that exists. Tell me about the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Wow, the world. That was my dog in the background. Tell me about the King of Swords. The sun, holy crap. Four of Wands. <laughs> okay, these are like awesome cards, especially when you have them together. You know, a new cycle that's very happy, joyous, stable, harmonious, balanced, etc., etc. This King of Swords is almost like there's communication about this. So this offer prob probably that someone's bringing to you, there's going to be discussions about this, about the future with the world here. I, I'm thinking about the future here. The future is going to be bright. The future is going to be great. Um, we're going to be together. We're going to do this and that, that, that kind of energy. So what's the problem? <laughs> Because down here, it doesn't look great. So I'm trying to figure out like, what, how is this all connected? Tell me about the Empress. The Empress is a symbol for growth, fertility, beauty, love, abundance. What she touches turns into gold. She's a symbol for manifesting abundance, creating, expanding. Tell me about the Empress. King of Wands, King of Pentacles. I feel like um, this Empress has attracted attention. I feel like these, the King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Swords, it's almost like they know they need to step up to meet this Empress's energy, right? To be at her level. You could have more than one suitor, more than one person interested in you, more than one person here that is desiring you. Can I get one more for the Empress? But I'm also getting that if this is one person, they're trying to meet you at your level. Strength, Leo energy. Courage, strength. I feel like whenever I see strength, because strength is also a card about bringing something into submission in a balanced way. So this is a woman taming a lion using nothing but inner strength, compassion, and patience, right? That's what strength is all about. And she's very brave for attempting this. <laughs> um, so there's this there's this theme of control through different means. I feel like this is someone presenting themselves to you in a certain way, Sagittarius. And I'm wondering why they're going to such lengths. You know, maybe it's because they're competing with someone else or maybe it's because there's, there's, you know, they know what you're worth and so they're trying to step it up, I guess. So why all of this energy down here? I don't like this energy down here. Ten of Pentacles reverse, lack of stability. Lack of security, broken commitments. The hangman reverse could be a positive energy because it's someone that is becoming unstuck. Um, they're no longer needing to see something from a different angle. They already see it. They've gotten their clarity and enlightenment and now they're ready. 
But sometimes this hey man can mean that, you know, they're, they're stuck no matter what, you know, it's, it's like, it's like stuck forever. <laughs> and then ace of swords reverse. I hate this energy. This is verbal conflict, deception, lack of clarity. So let's see what the heck all of this is about. Tell me about this 10 of pentacles reverse. Which makes sense. Because it's, it makes sense that this energy is here because the overall energy is the three of pentacles reverse. Tell me about the ten of pentacles reverse. Why is the ten of pentacles reverse? Page of pentacles. Okay. Tell me about the ten of pentacles reverse. Hmm. You get one more for this ten of pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles for me as a reader and the King of Pentacles too, they tend to already be in a commitment of some sort. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. When I saw the Page of Pentacles and I put it down, I thought this is somebody that is struggling financially or doesn't have the Ten of, they cannot give you the Ten of Pentacles, they can only give you the Page of Pentacles, you know? Okay, I get one more for this Ten of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, okay, so this is somebody that really wants this. With the Nine of, yeah. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody that really wants this. And so they're going to do whatever it takes to get it. Okay. Tell me about the Hangman Reverse. Why is the Hangman Reverse? Five of Cups. Why is the Hangman Reverse? Yep, I find it fascinating that we're getting these energies here. There's no, this type of energy is nowhere else except for this Ten of Wands here and the Three of Pentacles reverse. Everywhere else it looks peachy, all the way up here. It's almost like is this an illusion? Because when it comes down to the nitty gritty, we have the Five of, of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Why is the Hangman reverse? Uh-huh. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a situation where something looks really good on the outside. Be very careful. I feel like this is someone... I heard playing games. But it's it's not just playing games like... like I'm, I'm, it's almost like playing a long game. What is this? I don't like this energy. I feel like this is going to lead to Five of Cups. What's this Ace of Swords reverse doing here? What's this about? Why is Ace of Swords reverse? Yep, Nine of Wands. I feel like you already kind of can sense this. Because the Nine of Wands is a card about someone that already is not very trusting. That's why their guard is up. That's why they're kind of paranoid and defensive. They've been to, through too much. Tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse. What's this about with the Ace of Swords reverse? Page of Wands. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Death reverse, yeah. Page of Swords. I feel like the truth is going to come out. Scorpio energy with death reverse, yeah. Just when I said that, there's a tower at the bottom of the deck. And especially with the Page of Swords, this is like someone investigates the truth or figures out the truth. What is it with Sagittarius and the tower? There's something up here. You know, and it's funny because this whole reading, there's really nothing here that tells me of someone taking action. 
I have small offers on the board and on an offer that's kind of like wait, someone's been waiting for it. This offer, this Ace of Pentacles has not arrived. So then I have the Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Swords, and then I have the World, which I feel is the future. So again, I don't feel like there's anything really happening in the present. So I'm wondering if someone's telling you that something is happening in the future, but in the present, this is what you're getting, or this is the reality down here. Eight of Swords, the Hangman Reverse. I feel like this is someone that's still stuck, even though they may pretend not to be, they're still stuck. And they could be stuck in a, in a commitment. And then the Ace of Swords Reverse, and then we have the Page of Swords with the Tower here, death reverse which is the there's no ending right the ending is delayed the ending is not happening or someone's resisting an ending and i feel like you're kind of waking up to to the idea that someone might be deceiving you sagittarius they could be lying to you they can be they could be making you empty promises they could be making excuses they could be saying oh it's this or it's that or it's this or it's that and then you know, the reality, you know, there's only so much that you can live in future fantasy or future dreaming, right? Like that will only satisfy you for so long. After a while, you're like, okay, well, where are the receipts? Where are the results? Where Where is the action? You know, because all I see is baby steps, baby moves. And it's because someone here is focused on success. They think that this is the way to control the situation. They think this is the way to deal with the difficulty, you know? But I feel like they're just pushing this, they're kicking the can down the road, that, that expression. Can I get one more for this Ace of Swords reverse? Okay, just one more energy. This Ace of Swords reverse. Yeah, the devil, Capricorn energy. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. I feel like this is someone that has been deceiving you. Whether they meant to or not does not matter. The reality is the reality. This isn't, this is real life. This isn't what you hope you want to do, you know? <laughs> that, that, that's not how things work. When you're, when you're dealing with someone else a, a person with feelings it's not enough that you didn't mean to do something or that you're that wasn't your intention right i know there's a better way of saying that but right now my mind is all over the place with all these energies i feel like this tower is going to make or break this connection because either you're going to see someone for what they truly were or you're going to see the truth for what it really is or this person is going to actually do the right thing. I think it could go either way, but for some reason, I would not pin my hopes on someone doing that just because up till now that has not happened. So it doesn't really make sense to think that it could happen in the future, right? I think, you, I think you're prepared for the worst with this nine of wands. I think you can smell it. I think you, your intuition is probably warning you, you know? So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I wish it was a better reading. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the reading anyway. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.